Hello guys, Keeper on TV here, back for yet another video. So, we've got Stoke tomorrow and I thought I'll just do like uh, a quick video talking about the owners and the progression of the football club. So, as we know, Dong and TTA have been in charge of this football club for about five years now. It would be five years in October and uh, five years ago it was meant to be a new era for Blues. But everything has just gone downhill ever since. By the way, I completely forgot to mention this. Make sure um, to smash a like button on this video. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes on this video. Yeah, so sorry about that. Um, and, like, I just think it's going to be a cycle until these owners leave. These owners, even if... I mean, I know Lee, Big Lee Bowyer, sorry, is doing a brilliant job. But these owners... Just, yeah, they're just toxic, aren't they? And I think it's going to be inevitable that um, the owners and Lee Boya are going to have a disagreement over transfers and then it's just going to reach boiling points like it has done with past managers like Gary Monk and Gary Rowett. Um, I think it'll be a disaster if Lee Boya is not given the tools to succeed at Birmingham City Football Club. I remember when Gary Monk left in the summer and it was out of the blue, it was a disagreement, I think it was a disagreement with the Jota sale, I don't think Gary Monk wanted Jota to leave and that's how he left, um, but yeah, I can't see us getting, prom we need new owners, new owners is needed at this football club, even if we do survive this season, new owners are needed because we're going to be in the same position season upon season. We're all, we're all optimistic in the summer if we make a couple of good signings, a couple of free agent signings. We're all going to be saying, or we could challenge for the playoffs. But realistically, that's not going to happen. And realistically, we're probably going to be in the same situation as we was this season. And yeah, it's just a merry-go-round, a cycle, um, as someone you know, as people like to call it, it's a cycle. And um, I I don't know, I, I just don't I don't see a world where. We have success under these owners. I know they spend money on players, but that's because if you look at the if you look at when we've bought players for a lot of money, we sold we sold we only do that when we sell players for big money first. Like Chadams, he left for about fifteen million. Then we bought in Ivan Sunjic, and uh, yeah, players like that. But yeah, um, just for do a quick video talking about the owners. We're not going to progress under these owners. So don't get your hopes up. Next season, we could be in the same situation. Probably not the same situation, but nowhere near the playoffs. Probably like 15th play. You, you just can't predict it. You can't... I mean, you cannot predict um, this football club. Like We could be in another relegation battle next season. I wouldn't rule it out because it happens every single season. Until we get new owners, I think we're, in, we're stuck in a cycle. And this football club, it's not going to be moving... Anyway, it's not gonna go. It's not big. It's not gonna be going places anytime soon. Anyway, it's been Keeper on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get three points tomorrow. Keeper on time.